What's what's the quintessential PlayStation One era villain? I mean, it's uh, the villain from Crash Bandicoot. What? Oh, I know. Who? No, it can't be. Aren't they already in? Who? Sephiroth. It's Sephiroth. Hey, welcome to episode 132 of Front Seat Gamer. I'm Nick. I'm here with Severn. Yo. And Blake. Hey, Nick. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. It's going well. Good. You guys been playing much? I know I know of one game you've been playing. Mm. Path of Eggs. No. Um, Cyberpunk came out a mm-hmm. couple days ago, mm-hmm. and you both got it. Mm. We both, I think we just found out that we both played about the same amount, which is really yep. not much. The first how, mission. The first how, mission. How much time in minutes would you say you've put into it? Uh, for me, that was probably like a couple of hours. Really? Yeah. I spent... You spent an hour on the character? Creation? Yes. I was just going to say, yeah, I did. Mm, okay. <laughs> and then uh, I even They're now... I'm out genitalia? Oh, yeah. You got yeah. to gotta put those sliders all the they way. They only had like four options, right? For what? Gen- How many do you genitalia? need? Genitalia. Um, multiple? I, I want that is sl- multiple. I want a slider. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is it's just like it's it's this type or that type. You don't get to choose uh, girth. <laughs> nah, or, no, no girth, no girth. Uh, There's no, you, yeah, you know, like how uh, some character creators get real detailed in the face and like height of the cheeks and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's none of that for genitals. That's oh. like that's like next gen. That's yeah. gonna be the next next gen. Weren't you playing um, the Conan Exiles game? Yeah, it was just a slider year. though. Yeah, isn't that exactly what you're asking for? You want more detail than that? A penis slider? <laughs> yeah. I want. A balls slider. <laughs> uh, okay, let's dive into like, this. <laughs> Hang on. What what do you want the balls slider to do? What I want is ball size. Okay. Now, do you want individual, this individual individualized? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was my question. Individual ball size, and I want uh, whether or not the left one la- hangs lower. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want sag. You want sag? Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And then, um, and then wrinkle, wrinkle. Yeah, texture. Off. I was gonna ask yeah. about oh. texture. <laughs> and then and then grooming. You know, hair, grooming, grooming. Hair yeah, sure, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that so could this... be a slider too. <laughs> and then fuzz out on elements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and then color. Uh, yeah. Color, of course. Yep. And basically, I want a new drop down. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and uh, sperm count as well. <laughs> Potency, yeah. Yep. But yeah, yeah, the um the the cyberpunk ones just two penis options. Yep, and then it's just small, medium, or large. Uh, and that's it. I mean, who's going small? Let's. Like, I wanted to even smaller. Have that. <laughs> smaller. <laughs> Jesus. I wanted. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a very good in between. It's either a vagina or a penis. You can't kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. You can't go in between. <laughs> I'm not sure what in between would. I mean, mm. I don't know either. But I think you can't. You can't have a cyber. I feel, I feel like we're straying into though. dangerous like, territory if there here. There were a slider. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you can't have some cyber parts. Cyber penis. Yeah. I, mm. I just don't. I don't think that that penis and vagina are necessarily on a slider. You know, I don't think that they are on opposite ends of a spectrum. <laughs> I think. Yeah, you just slide think, one and it goes in. And yeah, then I don't, you slide all I the way and I it comes think, out. I like, don't think it's an it Innie or an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I think you can make it work. <laughs> okay. And I want to see it. You know yeah. what? You're working on a game with my legless in it. Please, <laughs> please, please do not add this feature. <laughs> yep. Good idea. Um, Check out all these sliders I added for you, no, Nick. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> wow, how did you get it so accurate? <laughs> I think mainly they just focus on face, mm. right? That's honestly a lot, lot, lot of face stuff. Yeah, hair. Are eyeballs. you are yeah. you sad about that? It, you sound a little disappointed. I mean, when you're mm. talking, when you're having a conversation with another character, it's not like your camera's panning down to the groin. You know, what's funny is like it's first person, so you you really yeah. only see your character in like mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's that's always been a bit weird. Games that are first person with a lot of character customization. Yeah. yeah. That's why, like, afterwards, I'm, I'm, even now, I'm thinking, like, should I just, because I'm only like, basically less than an hour in, mm. like, in actual game. If I did it again, 
Uh, You're going to start again with a different character? Yeah, because I'm like, maybe I should just go for one of the defaults and just like Who'd adjust them slightly. Who'd you go? I, I went with like a girl and mm-hmm. then like changed her like face around. And so I just did like, I always go like random until I find something that looks kind of cool, like mm. kind of good, and then like just adjusts it. Mm. Yeah. And what do they look like? Uh, what is Blake? They, they look like a um, red-haired goth chick. Okay. Yeah. I went for a uh, short-haired hot chick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's got her her pupils are like uh, what are they? They look like screens. Oh. Like a squared squid. Oh, that's pupil. cool. I, oh, I, yes. Actually, I really liked the eyeball customization. Yeah, because yeah. I, I I picked cyber eyes as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You did show me a, a photo of your character. Um, Pretty and, hot, huh? Um, <laughs> well, yeah. in the in the photo you to- you showed me, she looked like a horse trying to sort of like a get pe- peanut butter off of its wow, lips. Nick. Like she, you, she, she had her lips peeled so so far up yeah. and down. Oh, teeth fully exposed. Yeah, but were, yeah. You, were you on the teeth? Yeah, yeah, I was. yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> they show that. Oh, what did you did you go for a, a full chrome grill? Or no, something? no, no. I just I just went for regular teeth. Yes, yeah, so, so did I. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I was like, you could put like full gold teeth, gold silver. Yeah, I mean um, that seems like a good idea because then you'll always have some money on you. Yeah, it's true. Gold teeth. That's yeah, true. you can you can trade them but off. But then, but then, I, I my thinking is like people will want that. I don't want people robbing me for my teeth. Oh. That okay. seems like a nightmare to me. People robbing you for your teeth. Yeah, that does sound bad. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want regular so, teeth. I want so you teeth got no a, one you wants. got a gold plated penis, <laughs> and uh, mm. <laughs> um, you both chose to play women. Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. I just, was it because just to be different. because there was a nudity option, and you just wanted to be yeah, like, yeah, mm, lady played with that boob slider. Yeah, I thought that might be the. It case. wasn't even a slider; it was a small, medium, and large. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, see, same deal. Okay. Yeah, no sliders, and you can make that slider work too. Yeah, it, it works in Conan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it can make it go inside. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Negative values. This is how you do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think like. I think because some of the first marketing was a, a female V. Yeah. I just, in my mind, that's just stuck. So I just went with that. Okay. Same thing with like, because I've been playing the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. And like, I think their, like the marketing for theirs I saw was like the female assassin. So I just went with mm. her as well. Yeah. Uh, when you were playing Mountain Blade, you played it as a guy. Mm-hmm. How come? I don't know. Oh, actually, because I wanted to recreate uh, the Witcher. <laughs> I made my dude look, dude look like the Witcher. How come you didn't make your dude look like the Witcher in Cyberpunk? Because, ah, oh, man. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, there you go. I, mm. you know, I think you might need to restart. Yeah. I wish, Cyber Gerald. I wish you could, like, um, save, like, your character as a, as a preset. Mm. And then you could, like, do a thing where people can upload their characters. And you could just, like... Oh, yeah. Because okay. uh, there's got to be, like, someone that's, like, crafted a, a, a Geralt. Yeah, I'll, without a doubt. Yeah. So if you can just grab that and be like, yeah, now I'm Geralt. <laughs> I've got a Witcher jacket, though. Okay. In the game. Did you get that? No. Yeah, I got a, I got a jacket. I don't with... even know how to look at items. I've been picking oh, up only... trays and stuff. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> that was a thing. I, I love the idea of this like cyber futuristic hero, yeah. and he's like, "Ooh, ashtray." Here's what happens: you walk around an environment, and you'll see like shiny objects. Yeah, and, you know, just to get your attention, and then you go over and click on it, and you're like, "Oh, ashtray." Yeah, junk. Yeah. There's like, there's like, I'm picking up ashtrays, vinyl records. Yeah. And cards. Yep, yeah, I got some cards. Too. I don't know what the cards do. I don't know. Like, the, yeah, the first thing I picked up in the entire game was like a card. Mm-hmm. What kind of card? It like, just says card. I don't know what it is. Just and, says card. And when I look at and a I cardboard want, card. Yeah, when I look at it in the inventory, it's just like card. Does it have an image on it? No, I can't tell. I've not looked properly. I've not looked enough in the inventory to. How do like, you go into the inventory? Press I. Classic, classic. They don't tell you. No, they don't. It took me. I I played for probably an hour without opening up inventory or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and and press that. Yeah, this honestly sounds like both. Neither of you have ever played a video game before. (laughs) (laughs) What is going on? Is it it normal to assume that I is inventory? Yes. Okay. J is J is the button in Path of Exile. Yeah. Um. Someone at work told me that, and I was like, I've not pressed any of these buttons yet. Yeah. J, of course, J is journal. Have you tried M for map? No, I've not opened the map. 
<laughs> I've looked at my attributes. I've I've got points mm. to assign, and I'm looking at my attributes. How my... do you think hacking works? Which which button do you press to get your hacking going on? Oh, if I had to guess, based on uh, probably E. No. Is it not? No. It's is, a, is it H? It's a tab. Press tab. tab. Okay. Oh yeah, you got to press, press and hold tab. You hold tab to go into like, uh, hack vision, mm, yep. where you can like see the 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 things that you can hack mm. highlighted. Um, I quite like that. Mm, yeah. It's yeah. Okay. I haven't done enough of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I did it in that uh, very the first tutorial? mission. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. the, you can do it in the first mission. You could, like... Um, to distract them. Yeah. To, you distract them. There's, like, ceiling fans you can distract them with, and you can turn the, the music on and off to mm. distract them. Yep. Oh, this, the fans sure are blowing strong. I'm going to look yeah, that for a while. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was, like, you, you go... <laughs> you, you look at it, and then you can, like... You know, uh, it, it, this this thing comes up with, like, your hacking options, yeah. and one of them is, like, distract enemies. Yeah. So you hack that, and it just starts spinning faster, and someone looks over and is like, oh, what's going on over there? And just walks <laughs> over to it. Oh, and then dear. it stops, and then they walk back. There are three starting options. Which one did you Oh, I picked uh, Nomad. Nomad? Yeah. Okay. Which did you pick? I went Corpo. Ooh. That was going to be my second choice. That was like, I was, it was either Nomad or that one. Yeah. Either but... the super rich one or the, like, dirt yeah, yeah. poor one. What's the third? Um, Like, street gang like guy? Like a suburban type thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So how does it? So this is the thing. I think like this is what would be different between us, our gameplay then, because mm -hmm. like we would have had different starts, mm -hmm. right? So how did the how did the corporate one start? You uh, you start. It opens on you throwing up in a sink. Oh, okay. And you're talking to Jackie. Oh right, he's just there. Uh, he's just like in your earpiece. Oh okay. No, he's not physically there. Yeah, you're just talking to him, and he's. I don't know, you're just talking, I don't know, you feel uneasy or something, you walk out, you're in a lobby. Yeah. You're summoned, you meet your boss, you see he's up to some shady stuff. And then, yeah, you go out and meet Jackie at Jack, well, that that guy. Yeah, the big, at, like, the big guy that's in all the trailers. At, yeah. at Liz, Lizzie's bar. Keanu Reeves? No. No, the, the other guy. The other big guy. He's got like a bomber jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Bill from Bill and he's Ted. He's the big, he's the big chunky dude that's <clears throat> mm. in a bunch of trailers with the main character, not Keanu Reeves. Mario. He's anyway, that guy. You yeah. meet that guy in a bar. <laughs> okay. And then you get your mission. Yeah. How, how does yours start? Um, mine starts in a garage in, like, outside of the city. Mm. Like you're in a it's desert, right? a des desert town, mm. uh, and like there's a mechanic working on your car, and. Um, then a, you, you're about to leave and then a sheriff comes along and is like, uh, we don't like you. We, we basically, he's like, we don't like your kind in these parts. Shit. As a, as a nomad, because mm. I don't know, nomads have some kind of bad, like, publicity, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then basically he's like, you better get out of here or there'll be trouble. Mm. Um, and then I have to get to a, uh, I leave the town and go to like a radio tower and then call um, call up someone who says to meet this Jackie guy mm. at a, at like a trailer park, basically in the middle of nowhere. Okay, and uh, he has a he has like a a package that we then put in put in the car and drive into the city. Mm. <clears throat> um, and we ha we got to go through this checkpoint, and then you got to like bribe the the checkpoint guy, mm. but then they like end up. Um, dobbing you into like the corporation or something, uh, and then there's like a a a, um, a gunfight and a, a like a car chase. Right. Um. I the funny thing is, I see what you mean about the the car chases do feel slow. <laughs> yeah. Like they they do kind of just feel <laughs> slow. For future cars. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then this you just is like some technical stuff. Yeah. Like, I think they just can't make it go any faster. Yeah. And I did notice. Um. Because there was a there was a car chase later on in the city after, um, after uh, that very very first mission, mm. um, and it's like yeah it's it's slow it seems slow and it's also I it did notice after what you're saying there was no people on the city mm. on, on the on the streets yeah like although you could be like well it's night so maybe oh yeah okay you know, yeah, yeah, that justifies as it. many people around yeah like, there were some people around but like it wasn't the mass yeah bustling that, yeah bustling that you'd you'd expect yeah um have you been there in daytime yet no okay 
No, nope. I did like um at the end of that first mission. It's like because I'm playing when I hop in the car, I'm first person in the car, mm. not not like third person, and like it's raining, and you really get this vibe of like like driving through this giant city in the rain. It's real like <laughs> it's real one? like noir feeling. Mm. Like <laughs> it's great. I really really liked, it. and I was just like looking out. Of the window, like mm. looking at the the high rises, and it's raining, and there's the neon lights and My stuff. My God, look at the city! It, it honestly, <laughs> honestly, it it reminded me of when I was a teenager, and me and my friends would drive to Auckland. through Auckland, <laughs> and we just so tall. Yeah, I was like straight up like that, like oh man, look at this city. My neck hurts. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's yeah, like it's really cool, and um, yeah, I I just thought it was cool that like. I started outside the city, mm. and you could see the city in the distance. Yeah, I thought that was cool. You can see like ad- advertisements, right? These yeah, light, yeah, you can see the giants. Banners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So with Corpo, you you take this flying taxi into Lizzie's bar to meet Jack, and uh, it parks on a basketball court. Mm-hmm. This was where like one of the interactions kind of you get like peppered with interactions before it, but this is like. One where you can actually activate with, uh, interact with combat or not, mm-hmm. which I thought was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So you you park on the basketball court. These kids are like playing basketball there, and then they just start like, uh, what is it? Just getting in your face, and just, you just parked on their game. Yeah, yeah. They're like, "What the <laughs> hell are you doing here?" Yeah, and I, I guess because I went. It's one of the options to to pl- to play them one on one. No, no it's, it's really just like beat their ass. Yeah, <laughs> at it, basketball. No, oh, no, at at armed combat. Okay, yeah, and um, and, and it has this like, pr- like a uh, cooldown bar. Mm-hmm. I, I guess a lot of interactions have it. I'm not oh sure yeah, there's a um, like a timed yeah thing. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I just I just let it run. Yeah, and then yeah, they just walk to the side and they're like, yeah. don't, "Don't, she's not worth it." Yeah. Man. And uh, it it was cool to like not engage in that, yeah, because other people in the office did engage. Ah, uh, yeah, and beat their ass. I um, because I had a I had a very similar thing with that sheriff. Mm. Like he was definitely like a bit trigger happy, mm. and it did pop up with some options that were like basically antagonizing him. Mm. Uh, and I ended up just letting the the bar run out because yeah. like I didn't want to, I didn't want to get like. The, uh, in trouble with the law yeah. in this town. Mm. Yeah. There are, however, moments where there is no bar and mm. the game is just waiting for you to yeah. respond. Yeah. And that bothers me. That You want it to always, you want it to be consistent. You want it to always yeah, I think have so. a time limit. Yeah. It, it, does, it doesn't seem right to have some situations to mm. do that and some not to do that. I can see how that would take you out of the game a little bit where it, it feels like there's a natural flow everywhere else mm. and then suddenly there's a guy who's willing to stand there for mm. 10 minutes while you're going do i want to go inside yeah. also the game the game really isn't making me like choose if if i have to choose then uh don't you want to just play the default thing mm. maybe and not just awkwardly have us idling mm. <laughs> um i i yeah i think that breaks immersion mm. for me i mean they I think that's a uh, kind of old way of an RPG type. Yeah, thing. yeah. Like I, I can't remember. Maybe it was like Life is Strange, but like there's there's been games like that with um, huge dialogue options that every single thing has a a timed bar. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm sure Life is Life is Strange had that. Like I don't think Life is Strange had any points where you're just staring at them for like five minutes making a decision i'm pretty sure it's always like a bar and Mm. if you let it run out then it's just like you didn't say anything yeah i i I guess i mean firewatch was that like you could just go through the whole game i think without trying saying like Mm. almost nothing i think oh okay i don't know that i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure you can you can't i'm i don't know if it's all options you can definitely ignore options yeah into like the that you'll get unique responses like there's i remember in firewatch there were times where it's like i'm trying to decide on what to say and uh the bar just runs out and then it's just like i was silent yeah mm. yeah okay so but yeah i that bothers that does bother me as well like what you're saying just a little bit where um th- there's this one moment where um 
some suits are approaching me and they're mm. like, look, we basically, I, I, I done fucked up and that they want like something that I took from this company. Mm -hmm. And there was no, there was really only one direction that story was going. Yeah. yeah. And I had no agency there. Yeah. And so why even give me the option of choosing between these options that don't really mm. uh, back away from the situation. There, there is no way to avoid that situation. Yeah, I, yeah. I just had to go into it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. Um, I did notice though, in some cases you can just like walk away. Yeah. I was sitting down. And, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, you're I couldn't locked, get you're locked into the conversation. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, WASD didn't work. Yeah, no, no prompts worked. I, yeah, actually, the times I have noticed where I can't just walk away from the conversation, where I've, I'm locked You've in, sitting down. I'm sitting down. <laughs> yep. Yeah, which is funny. Yeah, it's like there must be something there. That's how they do it. That's it. That's like they never sit down. <laughs> yeah, never sit down at the game. <laughs> you always need to get up and leave. You need the exit plan every time. Please take a seat. Oh, I don't think I. <laughs> no you, way. No, no, no. You're I, not going to get me this time. Yeah, I got one foot out the door in this conversation. Yeah, because I've definitely had uh, when I, I remember when I first uh, met Jackie, mm. uh, I was able to just like walk all around the place and mm. basically like the dialogue options would disappear when I got too far. But yeah. he'd he'd keep I'd hear him talking like he was talking and I was just walking around this yeah. whole room. Yep. And then when I go close to him again, the dialogue options would pop up. Yeah. Um. But yeah, when I was talking to the the cop, I was sitting down in my car mm. when I was like in any like serious thing <laughs> sitting down always sitting down ah okay that's that's interesting very <laughs> strange <laughs> you've, you've just figured out the would you kindly of cyberpunk that's yeah a, that's a bioshock reference oh have you played bioshock no okay well spoilers yeah. Do, have you played bioshock uh, i believe i have i think <laughs> this th this might just be a fever dream but i think i saw that there's a new bioshock in the works that might have just been a few. Is that ago. Levine guy in it? I don't know. I just, Levine. I'm, I'm sure I just saw a headline somewhere yeah. that it was going to have Fallout type options and be an open world or something. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, that know. sounds if it's if it's a Ken Levine led project, more. I'd be keen to see yeah, it. Yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure he left that studio. Yeah, I thought he did too. Um, yeah. Um, How good's it looking for you? Ah, uh, on your current. It's it. It's. Dude, there are options in the graphics that are just grayed out. Mm. That are just like you can't you can't even attempt to do yeah. this. Okay. Um I I actually didn't think it looked that good. Mm. Um but I am playing it on a, a nine eighty, so it's like a six or seven year old like graphics card. Yeah. Um and like yeah, a bunch of like the bunch of the good options mm. are just Graphic options are just not even available to me. Mm -hmm. I ended up turning. There's a there was a setting that uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like in the settings underneath um, uh, film grain. Yep. I turned that off because it just made everything look blurry and weird. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. look grainy. Well, no, I kept film grain on. I kind of oh, okay. like that, but there, there was an option underneath that was like film blur. Something else. Like I can't remember what it was called. Like I don't know. Um, but it just it just somehow made everything look blurry and like not as good mm. uh, so depth of field no it wasn't depth of field <laughs> I, I, so I turned it off and I was like oh yeah things look sharper okay yeah um, someone from work was messaging me saying you know RTX doesn't add anything I, it, all it does is reduce my frame rate by <laughs> four times <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thought that was pretty funny yeah I mean how's it looking for you because you've you've got uh, it's, it's okay yeah yeah um, only okay you're not blown away no, I'm not blown away. I thought I would be. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's on, on a 3080. Wow. And uh, it's it's cool. Like I just I just rolled in there. I'm <laughs> getting attacked by. I'm getting attacked by a very small bug. Invisible. It's got, ven it's got something Insects. against me. Vendetta. Um, I can't see it. It just looks like you're flailing. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. I don't know where it's gone. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, yeah. I. The shadows thing is the most obvious thing. Yeah, no, no one yeah. casts shadows. It's yeah, very infrequent. Maybe, that, maybe that's the thing that I'm seeing that is just like something looks off with the whole thing. Maybe mm. in the future there are no shadows. I think so. It's the Matrix, right? Yeah. Everyone's in the Matrix. Yeah, and uh, they've forgotten that shadows exist. Yeah, yeah, it's too much of a performance hit even yeah. in 
in the Matrix. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. Uh, I remember, like, I remember in The Witcher, uh, what, the, like, the first town I walked into in the first, like, five minutes, I remember just looking at a ditch mm. for, like, <laughs> for, like, a minute because it was, like, it, I... I thought it looked so detailed and like fantastic. Like I talked about it on the podcast where it was like, there was environmental storytelling in this ditch. Oh, was it? Yeah. Where you could see like it had collapsed and then they'd like reinforced it and then they'd put a fence, but the fence was starting to collapse. And mm. it was like, this looks like a lived in like thing. Mm. Uh, and I was just like, this is amazing. And like so many things in the witch, I'd just be like staring at being like, this is amazing. Right. So far, nothing like that in cyberpunk. Mm. Yeah. Although I've not gone out into the big wide, city yeah but like when i was when i started off in the desert and i'm just like it doesn't like looking out i was just like it doesn't look that great yeah there are areas that do look good mm. um the the car park before that scene that that mission oh yeah <laughs> that that kind of looked lived in yeah um and believable but then you yeah. go into the corridors yeah and it's kind of like it's it's lacking something it's it, sterile it, mm. Dude, it looks like they just made it with like five textures. Like there's, there's, there are pipes running around. There, there's yeah. no litter. There's no, I don't know. It just feels uniform and there there isn't anything unique in it. It's very generic. Mm. Um, but yeah, you go into that mission and it's decorated. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's quite. I like. Did you catch the bug, Nick? You got it. He got it. I got it. Well done. Thank you. Well done. I squished it, squished yep. the bug real good. Nice. Now a bigger bug. That was that was just the baby. Oh no. <laughs> now I'm paranoid. Yeah. Um. So okay, yeah, I want to want to jump in here because I'm curious. This game's been in the works for like eight years, mm. or something crazy. Lots of hype, lots of delays. Yeah. Both of you were very excited to get it. Both of you have. Bought new computer components specifically for this game. Yeah, and we played so little of. You play, <laughs> yes, yes, but but here's my here's my question: Are you disappointed? I mean, I haven't played enough to feel disappointed. Yeah, yeah, I like it's very much in line with what I thought I would feel, <laughs> which is <laughs> mediocre. I thought I thought it would be like an above average game, and it's yeah, it's shaping up to be an above average game. I know that like these guys are good for like storytelling, mm. and I I think I. You know, th those moments where I could uh, just walk away from conflict are cool. I, mm -hmm. I do appreciate that. Um, so that's cool. But the way it, you know, areas where they just remove agency mm. and give me the illusion of choice suck. Like, mm. so that, that's, that sucks because, because it's got elements the of, yeah, yeah, yeah mm. of, of the opposite. But also remember, we basically have only done the tutorial. Yep. Because like, there's there's stuff that are just like, like, all you can do is like, open the boot of this car, open the trunk, and that's that's it. Like, next gen. You know, you know, you, you know game developers put a lot of effort into the first, you know, mm. five ten hours of their game. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's an RPG. Like, people put their best foot yeah, forward typically true. and uh yeah so if this is it then yeah yeah i don't think my change like my opinion will change just going off the visuals i don't think i'll see anything mm. groundbreaking later so I, um I, I i just feel like it was i i this is the thing is i i understand this is i'm playing through the tutorial basically yeah. and i just felt like it was very handholdy every little step of the way yep. you know like open this door, talk to this person. Like I was like that part I was saying where um, you go to a checkpoint um, and they're like, like somebody says to you, okay, go to like, go to the officer in room two. Mm. And I was like, okay, cool. Where's room? Like looking for room two. There's a, there's Mark a, there's an icon yeah. saying like, uh, go here, mm. even though the door has a big two on it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm starting to feel like, I need to. I need to get. I need to remove the 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 quest mm. um, tracker trackers. Mm. Yeah, because it's just like every th little thing. Like open this door. Like get in the car. Like pick this thing up. Yeah. Left know. foot now. Right foot. Yeah. I, now left foot. I actually like thinking back. I think maybe The Witcher was also like that, and I turned those off because I did feel like I was 
all I was doing was just following a dot on the screen. And this this definitely so far feels like I'm just following a dot on yeah. the screen of like where to go and what to do. It's good that you can turn that off. Yeah. Um. But also, like, I think you have to keep in mind that this is a game that is designed for wide appeal, right? Broad appeal. They they want this yeah. is their flagship title. They've been working on it for eight years. Mm. You know, the the last game came out what three or four years ago, mm. and so um, they are trying to. Wait, you mean The Witcher? Yeah. Man, that was like five, five years ago. I think it's 2015. 2015. I it was anyway, 14. it was like six years. It's been it's been a while. Yeah, it's basically. been a good it's been a good chunk. Um, so uh, they are trying to get as many players as possible. That includes people who don't play that many yeah, games. I, I I get it. I get it. Um, I just yeah. I I feel like and the like thinking back, this is definitely what happened in The Witcher. I did turn off um quest tracking. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I have the exact same feeling that like all I'm doing is following an exclamation point that's telling me where to go next. That'll that'll and, end though, I assume. And then uh, you'll well, that's be... what I thought. Well, that's what I thought with The Witcher was like, oh, this will just be for the tutorial. But like, it just kept going, and so mm. it just made the entire like the entire game feel like the tutorial. Right. Until I turned it off, and then I had way more fun. And like that 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 city, like that this game is supposed to be like massive and open yeah massive and open and i would hope that they have enough like environmental cues of like where to go yeah you know like street names or like doors with a big number two on it because yeah. like it says go to room two so you see the big number two like they have it's, but, it's just a funny thing that on, they have in the that future as maybe well. the number two looks different oh, that's true it might be a three yeah but it's just it just is funny it just seems like a waste to me that they have that and but really all you're looking at is the exclamation yeah. point that's no, on I, the door I, I get where you're coming you from know. and and uh you know what i'm glad that there's like i said there's i'm glad you can turn it off yeah and i think you yeah, should yeah um yeah I, i'm gonna turn that off and then i'm probably gonna have a way better time i've heard that they i mean look i've seen a lot of bugs online mm. i don't have the game i've You've, seen you saw a bug oh yeah a couple bugs. you saw a tipo's character yeah 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 and uh i also quit from the game, reloaded it, and she was still in T Post. Oh no! Maybe that's just how she is. Maybe I, that's, I think so. That might not be a bug. That might just be that's how that's her thing. Yeah, in the dance club, you just behave that way. <laughs> well, this this particular character <laughs> is like, the... I am. You stay motionless. <laughs> Maybe she's like, I am Teresa. Oh, oh god! But my whole thing is I stand like yeah. this. Yeah. And then she starts turning around really fast, and then she flies away. Hmm. Maybe she's taking some future drug that is just she's just drugged out. Yeah, and... para- paralyzes yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you tried a Kimbo? <laughs> um, but there was also another one where a guy was like eating a hamburger. Yeah. And when it, whenever I'd talk to this guy, the hamburger would disappear. Oh. And then I the talked to him worst. again. That's just it, a future hamburger. Yeah. And then oh, it reappeared. <laughs> dude, I hate the cyber burger. I, I hate. That's the thing I hate the most in in games like that. Like a lack of object permanence. Yes, I was playing. Um, I was playing Dishonored, and I remember. I remember there was a scene in Dishonored where you sit down and a guy is drinking some whiskey or something out of a glass, mm. and then suddenly the glass was just not there, mm. and he was just like, but doing all the motions as if he, he was, was like drinking. Well, he's very with drunk. Empty hand. He, he and dropped it, just, it. It just broke the whole my whole mm. like belief. Like all I'm doing is staring at this like empty hand that. I've seen people so drunk that they think they're taking a drink out of yeah. a drink that isn't there. I get like that stuff annoys me more than probably anything else is then, you know, the stuff. Yeah, I, just, I just wonder how this could even happen. How, how those, I, I don't know. Manifest. Yeah. I really don't know. Um, so yeah, w- when you're a corpo, you're, you're thrown up into this thing. Mm. I, I quit out of it shortly after cause I wanted to turn a sitting on, on oh, my yeah. computer. So I reloaded back into it, and her spew had disappeared. Oh, like weird. Yeah, it was the same save. <clears throat> Didn't get it. Wow. Uh, so yeah, there are just these why. weird little bugs everywhere. Yeah, that's basically what I'm hearing is it's very, very buggy. Uh, uh, th- there was also a car like driving around. It had like headlights, like the lights casting, but then you look at the headlights and they're off. Oh, like, mm, kind of stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I-, I know they're minor, but like. Yeah. It's yeah. the, it's that's the like yeah I mean it's In minor, so that's, it all adds up right yeah. yeah um I've heard that they've got a huge patch coming that fixes lots and lots of bugs they yeah. said it's gonna be basically a different game 
Which what? I, they said that? Something like that, that yeah. I mean... They're going to introduce a third person my, my theory is that you load it up and it's just The Witcher 3. <laughs> mm. Surprise! Um, <laughs> it's a different game! You go through a portal. <laughs> Wake up, Geralt. Yeah. <laughs> I just had the weirdest dream. <laughs> um, How's the reception from your point of view of the game? Uh... It seems like, okay, so critical reception was very positive except for a few outliers. Mm-hmm. And then um, players were very upset with those outliers. And then they got their hands in the game and like, this is very buggy. And mm. so it seems like the worm has turned a little bit. Mm. Did you hear that? Uh, I saw this interview where CD Projekt Red like gave out footage to use and said, you yeah. can't. Is that common? No. Wait, that did what? They... So, it's extremely uncommon. Um, yeah. they, they basically, so uh, it's not it's not uncommon for previews. Mm. But for reviews, that is extremely uncommon. Yeah. So basically, what happened was normally when you're when you're reviewing a game, the game is yours. You can capture footage. You can mm. do whatever you want with it for your review. You put up screenshots. Usually, take your own screenshots and capture your own footage and make your yeah. review, whatever it is. Um, C Project Red has allegedly said this is the footage you can use for your review. You cannot use footage that you oh, capture until yourself. the game comes out. Oh, okay, weird. Um, which is extremely unusual. Mm. It makes sense for previews because you're playing an unfinished version of the game and it's not necessarily indicative of what the yeah. final product will be. And mm. uh, But even then, oftentimes they're just like, yeah, just make sure that there's not any glaring bugs in it and you can use your own footage. Yeah. Um, that makes it sound like they don't trust their game out in the that's wild. That's exactly right. Um, and and, uh, and it also clearly indicates they know that there are problems. Mm. Um so, but uh, you know, they're gonna. F- they've they've claimed they've got these big patches coming that are gonna fix lots of things. Hopefully, they'll optimize lots of stuff. Um, well, I mean, they 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 kind of gotta because like this is their <laughs> number one. Like this is their game. Yep. This is the thing. They but it's also probably have... sold very well already. Yeah, yeah. Um, they should definitely fix these problems. Yeah. But who? Like, they can't just, it's not like, you know, a Call of Duty where they're just like, on to the next one, or an Assassin's Creed where they're just like, we've already started on the next one, so who cares about supporting this? Yeah. Yeah, I hear multiplayer's coming. Really? Hmm. Well, I heard that they, like, had another company working on it. Okay, for that'd be interesting. It. Yeah, man, you can have um, these really slow car chases. Yeah, the car, like, I, I really wonder <laughs> if you hadn't mentioned that, if I would have noticed how slow, they just feel slow. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange. It's all electric cars in the future. I may- but not that not this isn't Tesla. There's no Teslas. Mm. Yeah, it's all like old electric cars, yeah. golf buggies. Yeah, but with cooler shells. Shells. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, sorry, chassis. Um. Cool. So they this they've got this patch coming out. Um. This is our last podcast for this year. Very likely. Yeah. Mm. So you probably won't hear. At least I probably won't hear uh, from you guys about what this patch does until our next podcast, which could be months from now. Who knows? Um, probably not really. Maybe a month. Yeah, probably. Um, Maybe but I'm, I'm keen to hear uh, what you guys think then. Um, mm. But because this is our last podcast of the year, I want to hear from you guys what your finest gaming moments of the year this year. 2020, uh, the finest year on record for just everything. Everyone loved 2020. Yeah. Everyone keeps going. 2020, finest, great year. Finest gaming moment. Yeah. What's um your what games have you played this year that stood out? What moments in those games did you play? The sweet 360 no scope <laughs> headshot. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, did you did you get any uh quadra penta kills? Penta kill. What? Did what you get, are you talking could, about? <laughs> Le- League of Legends. It's a it's a it's a MOBA thing. Yeah. Just MOBA things. Just a MOBA Hashtag thing. Hashtag just MOBA things. Yeah. Um So let's start with Blake. Oh god. Uh I don't know. I think my my favorite game I think this year was probably Last of Us. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um any uh was there any there was there a moment in that game that crystallized that as your favorite game this year? Oh man. I like one particular moment. I can't really think of okay. one particular well, moment, but just the entire like the the cool thing was that like um that game came out and I had like two weeks holiday. Okay, <laughs> so so it was the both the Last of Us and the fact that you didn't have to work for two weeks. Yeah, and it was just like <laughs> I just spent the whole time on the couch, um, playing this game, 
Uh, some of my friends were also playing it, so we were like messaging each other at the same time, and we were around the same. Here he goes kind of bragging about his friends spot. again. Oh, there, yeah, there yeah. He goes. That was it. It was cool, <laughs> and it it was just the whole thing was like, it was just so much fun. Like the whole <laughs> experience of it, like yeah, you know, just loved it. Yeah, cool. It was it was great. Um, it w- it really was like, like I I enjoyed the hell out of that game. Like the I I wish. Like I said this on the podcast that I wish that you could just have basically a giant arena where you had to get from one end to the other and sneak around in the in the grass and through the buildings and just take people out because god damn it it was so satisfying just murdering the shit out of people from stealth and nobody knows that you're there. So I just want to confirm your favorite game of the year was not an early release survival game. No. <laughs> that is surprising. <laughs> Although Conan was pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Conan was pretty fun, but it was definitely, you know, not not the greatest. Yeah. So, um, Last of Us 2. Last of Us. And, you know, and it was like basically playing it with people um, through just messaging at the same yeah. time. Like, it was it was cool. I, yeah, that was that was my favorite time of, of the year, I think. Nice. Um, Severn? Conan was fun as well, though. Um, I, I, don't, I don't really have gaming moments. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Well, what what did you play this year that really stuck out? Uh, yeah, The Last of Us. <clears throat> there, are, there are ongoing conversations about The Last of Us. Are they still so, going? Uh, Ed sit, sat down um, after work yesterday, and yeah, we were talking about it. And man, he yeah, he had some really awesome points. Oh wow! And, which made me reconsider my position I took with the game. Um, what so kind of points. He he kind of just rolled in there, just saying like. You know, I never had a boss fight I'd never wanted to do. Like, I've never encountered that before. And mm-hmm. I was like... You're talking about the, the final fight, right? Yeah. And I was like, you're fucking right, man. Um, he, That was talking about the final yeah, fight, Yeah, of course, right? of yeah. course. That's yeah. exactly what I was saying. I didn't... I, I, yeah, I liked not, it Ed. because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I, the, the way he phrased it was just like, holy shit, yeah, I never thought of it like that. Mm. And he, and, but also, he kind of stepped back a little bit and was like, look, video games can't just be fun. It's all kinds of feelings and emotions. And I was like, fuck. I feel like, like he's saying the exact same <laughs> stuff I was. Okay. He's just saying it better. <laughs> it, it was, it, maybe I was just a little more receptive to it. <laughs> Should we get Ed on <laughs> instead of Blake? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but, yeah, so so this was, you know, I, I made my mind up when I played it. Yeah, and I was yeah. just like, fuck, it sucks. And I watched the Nakey Jakey review, which was, I must recommend this, okay. this reviewer. H- have you Nake, heard of this guy? No. Nakey Jakey, he's got like gray swiss ball. <laughs> he's got what a gray swiss ball like a um do you know what a swiss ball is yeah it's like a yoga ball like a yoga oh a yoga ball yeah, yeah okay yeah. and um he yeah he'll be sitting in front of a green screen uh-huh and yeah it's just well produced mm. and he did he's made a whole bunch of points with it so after i played it i made up my own mind and then watched a few reviews and you know interviews that um neil Druckmann and some of the developers that Naughty Dog had. Yep. And then with that, I kind of form an opinion. And that and that was sort of what I had. It very much fell in line with, with that um that review too. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and, and then Ed sat down yesterday and was like, hey, I... I Blew finished. your mind. He was like, I finished Last of Us 2. And yeah, we talked about it. And I was just like, motherfuck, man. And so I was just thinking about that like all yesterday. <laughs> That's great. Are you going to play, play it again with that? No, I don't think I Mindset. need to play it again, but I do need to like revisit. Like the the game experience is still memorable. Mm. Yeah, which is which is a credit to the game for sure. Um, but I I just remember playing it, thinking a certain way, and um, yeah, to to break it down into not one large story, but you know, four four individual stories mm-hmm. told simultaneously is maybe a better way to think of it anyway there, there's a lot of nuance in that game and uh I, i'm i'm reassessing how i feel about that uh but yeah it, it was good <laughs> one of the cool things that happened this year is probably at work i think um man so alex dr alex mm-hmm. he um he he discovered something really cool like about the industry, like some a, a technique that the industry is like not really doing, 
And um, the last couple of months, we've been exploring this thing. And yeah, like it's going to enter the game and we're going to. Oh, I don't know. Can you talk about it? No, I'm not going to. I'm yeah. just going to say that. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's really cool. And um, this is like, terrible for the podcast, <laughs> man. It's it's. I, I guess it's a it's a teaser. And um, man, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a very art related thing. But is it painting? Uh, no, it's just a way to like correctly represent models in like a video game. Uh, so, so so sculpture. No, no, it's not. It's not even like how you make an asset. It's just. A, a rendering thing, I guess. Uh, is it? You would never guess it. I don't HD think, screens. I don't, I don't think. No, it's not a resolution <laughs> thing. Um, but yeah, he he just kind of happened across this thing. Is it uh anti aliasing? No. Is it is it pro aliasing? <gasps> <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> but, but yeah, it's it's really cool. So we've been messing around with that. <laughs> he didn't say no, so I think it might be pro. <laughs> Guys, it's pro aliasing. Um, I've got a whole bunch of gifts. Basically, and and it looks awesome. Mm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate this after the podcast. Mm. Yeah, we can talk about it. But the thing is, the industry, like, it's not new. They're sleeping on this, basically. Yeah, it's pretty big. Pretty big. It's pretty so big, yo. It's a big. <clears throat> is it big pixels? Uh, Fat no. pixels. Is it a That's, super pixel? Yeah. No, but but it 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 kind of um it does the things. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Um, <laughs> hmm, how do I describe it? Big pixel. It's, yeah. it's really performant. So it, it does these things where um you get better performance and better accuracy. So it looks better and is cheaper. So it's you mm. know it does those things for assets, which is a huge win. <laughs> uh it's is it just a video clip? Is it is the video clip uh, of the thing? No, that no. You're talking about. Oh, so if it's a cat, about, you just you just film about a video cat. clips. Um, <laughs> this, this is going back to cyberpunk a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but it so the small things bother me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when when it loads, it's like a video clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know this because it's pixelated. Yeah. Um, whereas when the best games, a Rockstar game, mm-hmm. when they load, <laughs> they oh, they, they use like letters, oh, you know, which are yeah. aliased and rendered properly, okay. <laughs> and they don't have pixel artifacts because it's not a video you know um i thought it was like oh wait when when is it when you when you start the game or is it when it's loading that um it basically starts a news report or something have you no i haven't experienced okay that. where it's like talking about like stuff that's been happening in the city oh mm. you're thinking of animal crossing yeah maybe this is when you don't press any I think, I think that might just be when you start go? the game, yeah, and yeah, it just yeah. like starts talking about the city, and I was like... It's a video, right? I, I think it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, I haven't really like, Dude, looked at it. It's probably. not even like a 4K video. Yeah. That, that's how sad oh, it is. Man. You know what's funny in that game? Um, so after that first mission, hmm. you go back to your apartment... I sat down on the couch and just watched at, like TV <laughs> in the game for like two minutes. Go. <laughs> I was just watching a news report. I was watching some talk show with like a religious guy on there. Mm. I think this gives like, I think this gives like extra, um, like info about the actual city and like what's going on in there. That's Cause, cool. Because there's like this religious guy there talking about like how the world has just gone to shit morally, mm. and other people and another person there being like, "Yeah, isn't it great?" <laughs> Like, and you can see this religious guy just so like upset about it. Oh all. dear! Um, and then like news came on about like um, some terrorists or something like that in the city. And I'm like, oh man, this is this might actually be like like interesting as like if it's a full proper living kind of world, it might mm. actually have play something play to out. do. Yeah, play yeah. out like interesting. yeah, it might yeah. Well. So Look forward to hear more yeah. about that. Do you have some moments? Yeah, what's yours? Nick? Um, uh, thinking back, I loved, uh, I really enjoyed Animal Crossing: New Horizons. I the the moment I think stood out for me most was when I finally got KK Slider into the town, which is sort of almost the end of the yeah storyline, I guess. Hmm. Um, that was really just a, that game was just a real pleasant, warm, gentle hug. Mm. Um, I I loved playing uh Mountain Blade Two. Uh, and I'm I beat, Blade 2 was great. It was really good. Um, I 
I'm, I'm, I think I'm done with it mm. like to, for at least for a while. I'm gonna wait for them to release f- properly, and I mm-hmm. probably will play it again. Um, it's got a lot of problems that game, but the core systems are so fun and enjoyable and and challenging. And the organic growth throughout that game is so satisfying uh, that I do not regret picking that up at all. Yes, yeah, an early access game too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And and even so. Yeah. Still good. Um, uh, that's that's probably about it this year, really. I mean, I've mm. played some other games. I played a lot of mobile games. Oh uh, yeah, I play. Oh, Hades is really good, but like everyone's talking about Hades, and and um, and as as enjoyable as Hades is, it's a solid roguelike, and there's nothing in there for me that was like, oh wow. Mm. A lot of people talk about the dialogue and how much dialogue there is and how it responds to your your stuff. For me, um, that it's cool, but it's not perfect. And there's like to me, there's some very the system is visible in a lot of ways in, uh, that I can't that that detracts from. Have you have you played something that's perfect before? Uh, Zelda. <laughs> really, <laughs> really. Uh, okay. In, in what in what respect, really? Is the you you just threw out offhandedly it's not perfect which is, uh, the, like, I'm what specifically is, what is the dialogue system in that game is not perfect right it's Man. and you, and then you throw in Zelda as like this <laughs> okay <is> <laughs> amazing dialogue uh, no 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 <laughs> okay yeah okay the, the, the dialogue in this the, particularly the voice <laughs> acting in those cutscenes is terrible but you know what the dialogue in that game everywhere else and there is a lot of dialogue on that game in Zelda yeah and it, like just, just random NPCs they all they're all really funny and char- well characterized and um and perfect though Shit. No, no, I, Zelda, I would not use Zelda as an example of perfect dialogue. Yeah. Um, I was making a joke. Has, has, have you ever played a game with perfect dialogue? Dude, perfect is like unattainable. Yeah. I don't even. Um, is, is it you know, if, if we're talking strictly storyline, yeah. I, I, I was thinking about this even this week. Bioshock Infinite mm. had a wonderful storyline. Um, and I would hazard to say that's, that's one of my favorite game narratives mm. uh, ever. I, I don't, it's, it's been Either. a long time. Holy shit. Yeah, it's been a really long time since I uh, played through it. So, you know, I, maybe I'm looking through Rose Tinted cla- Glasses, but that's the only game. Um, I think the only other game where I've done this is Zelda. But the th- what I did when I played Bioshock Infinite was I, I played it, I beat it, mm. I unlocked the hardest mode, wow. and I immediately played and beat it again. Whoa. And I've, I, I, the only other game I've done that for is Zelda, and that's because... You like, bought it twice. Bought it twice. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, uh, that's a game where the narrative is so cohesive and tight and fascinating and intriguing and uh, and you are rewarded for playing it again because you 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 go through one time and you're intrigued and you're following clues and you get this amazing ending mm. and then you play through it again and you see realize oh they they built up to this the whole way oh. through yeah. Every, almost every single thing did, in that game. Did you play Bioshock Infinite? No. Oh, yeah. Really? Well, I, I played like a couple hours of it. Yeah. I, I played through it. Man, we have very... Like, it, it was a very long time ago. So. Yeah. Mm. But I, yeah, I don't remember it or hold it in high regard like that. Interesting. And, and maybe I should play through it again. Uh, I Let's talk about it after the podcast because I'm very curious why, what, what, I guess, your lasting impression... You can talk about was. it now. I well, what, what's sad is I just didn't... Um, again, I... I think I was still pursuing art and just critiquing ah. art. Main, like I wasn't really on the story buzz that I yeah. think I kind of grew into recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I I think I just wasn't really looking for it. That was a game that was developed at the end of, of all those generations of consoles. I think P- yeah. PS3. Yeah, and so it doesn't look amazing. It looked all right on PC. I played it on PC, mm-hmm. um, but even then, it was like you know, kind of using these console assets. And... Yeah, I, I played it on PC as well. Um, I, I do remember the one thing that stood out for me, like art wise, was that like they had maybe like three faces in the entire game. Mm-hmm. Which oh, is, of the NPCs. Yeah, which is fine when you're just killing them, but when you're like before walking them around walking around and, and you just see the same like three faces looking yeah. at you, you're just like, oh, weird. Yeah, I could see if you're if you're coming. At, you're pro- approaching that game from an art standpoint. Mm. Totally, I can see you're going, yeah. But um, uh, there's just wonderful voice acting, uh, re- interesting themes, uh, and the story 
is a, a closed loop that um, they put a lot of work into. And you can tell they, they put a lot of work specifically into the narrative structure. And mm -hmm. um, so I just really appreciated that game. Um, so that, that's an example, I think, of, of something I would say is like sort of a perfect story. Um, do you think it'll be supplanted in the near future? Oh, probably. And, and there's a lot of games I've I haven't played that have great stories, like uh, like The Last of Us, right? Yeah, that 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 is that for me. So I I I, I want to play through The Last of Us games. Uh, I've been saying this for years. Mm. <laughs> and what you know what? One day I'm gonna do it. You know what? I've got a PlayStation you can borrow. Mm. Okay, give it. Yeah, okay. give it. Give it to me. Cool. Merry Christmas, me. Are you, are you taking time off? Uh. Yeah, I'll probably take some time off. Uh, but oh, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll find time to play. Yeah, we can sort it out. Cool. Um, yeah. Because yeah, you, you lent me Last of Us. I played your mm. copy. Yeah. Yeah. But, dude, my PlayStation has been, like, in my cupboard. For, oh, like, wow. <laughs> for, like, mm, since Red Dead on PC came out. <laughs> oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that lines up. <laughs> Man, Red Dead's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, the, yeah, the 3080. 30, <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Good stuff. i got to get back into Red Dead. All right. I've got, I, I keep, I've got like three <laughs> ongoing giant open world games. I've got Zelda, I've got Red Dead, and mm -hmm. I've just started Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Man, my... Also, Cyberpunk. Oh, and Cyberpunk. <laughs> oh, I've got four. How is that even not on your radar? <laughs> That's kind of... <laughs> Because the world hasn't opened up yet. So far, I've just been watching TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the TV simulator. Yeah, yeah it's a TV that's simulator. A, when I want to watch TV, I just load up Cyberpunk. <laughs> um, have you been playing more Zelda? Um, not... Oh, since last episode? Not since last time, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I ran around uh, ran around the, the an ice, the, the snow area. Yeah. Um, I went to... I think when I logged out, I think when I stop playing i had uh landed near like a giant maze that's like so oh yeah not not the big one that's like off the um there's three of them there's three yeah. oh god okay yeah well i'm i'm one near one that's near the the, the snow place nice yeah, yeah. i know the one um yeah so that's where i i logged up neat yeah um all right well we're, we're pretty pretty much out of time we'll be back next year um you guys got anything you want to say before we we sign off for, for 2020? I don't I don't usually curse. But yeah. Fuck 2020. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It man, it, it I I think it's been good though. <laughs> for New, New Zealand, yeah. I it's think been also fine. Yeah. for uh, <laughs> in, introspection, I think. Okay. Yeah. For that um angle. Um I'll I'll get some more bands hopefully. Oh, yes. But for the new great. year, I I think I've I'm tapped out this year. Yeah. My, like my hardware had to send it away as well. Oh, okay. But I am hoping to branch out of GGG. <laughs> Ooh. Yep, yep. So that's exciting. Cool. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to get a um, D and D no special for the for Christmas. So <sighs> scheduling. It, yeah. It, Scheduling's it looks hard. like no no special no Christmas special this yep. year. But uh, we it will happen eventually. Yeah. Or it won't. Those are the options. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're, we're taking bets. Yeah. 2020 for me felt like it both went fast and slowly. It really dragged, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been a real weird year. It's 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 the 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 lockdowns that we had in my mind were just like a few days. It just felt like a few days, but it was like a couple of months that just disappeared. Yeah. You spent most of that time just on your computer playing video games, right? Well, working and working, I guess, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's all it was. It was like yeah, get true. up, work, Play a game, go to sleep, and that was that for like two months. Yep, and that's why it felt like a weekend. <laughs> like well, you gotta I, stop working on weekends. I look, I look back, <laughs> I look back, and I'm just like, where did those months go? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be back next year. Thanks for listening, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll he you'll hear from us then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll have yeah. some more cyberpunk talk. Yeah, if you've got we'll probably questions. Probably play another hour, I think, by then. <laughs> yeah, at least another hour. Yeah. You know what? Email frenziequestions gmail.com if you've got any questions about Cyberpunk. We want also tell us what your favorite gaming moments of 2020 were. Uh, you can also tweet at frenziecast, facebook.com slash frenziecast. You can let us know on there. 
uh, frontseatgamer.wordpress.com. You can leave us a comment. Uh, YouTube.com slash frontseatcast. You should subscribe on there. And you can rate us on Spotify and iTunes and all, all that good stuff. And we'll be back next year. All right. Love you. Year. Bye. Other animal that they thought it was, it was like some, mm. like, Pingolin? polygon or, yeah, something, yeah. yeah. Pangolin, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Polygon? Yeah, polygon. Like the Pokemon. Porygon? Porygon. You can't even, you've got, you've got it wrong twice in <laughs> one attempt. Polygon. <laughs> Is it Porygon? Does it have an R in it? I was thought it was Polygon. Yeah. No, it's Porygon. I really? P O L I. No. I always thought it was Polywag, Poliwhirl, Polyrath. I seriously always thought it was Polygon. You're, you're, no. Because it's a computer Pokemon. Yeah, they're not just going to call it the go- the thing that's in the computer. Why not? That seems like a better idea. Uh, no, it is that, 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 it's a turtle that squirts water. Let's just call it Turtle. <laughs> Come on, Blake. <laughs> Why are you annoyed? I because think, you, you I know think, how Pokemon works. I think works. Polygon, you... I think the word, the name Polygon is like, abs- like removed enough from the general like knowledge that they'd just be like, oh yeah, like the Pokemon. They just you could just call it Pokemon. Polygon is I don't think Polygon is that well of a known it, name. Oh, amongst gamers? Against uh, the amongst again, the people who play children. video games? Mm. When I was a child I didn't know that. What? Every, every when everybody we talked we When I first heard the Polygon word Polygon counts and the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation we We never we never talked about Polygon counts. I didn't know what Polygon was. I thought it was a Pokemon. You, apparently yeah, apparently you still don't know what Polygon. It's Porygon. God damn it. You got your intro. Well, maybe if that episode. Oh, shut up, Blake. <laughs> maybe if that episode wasn't banned in New Zealand, I'd actually have heard its name spoken out loud. It was banned everywhere, Blake. It wasn't just New Zealand. <laughs> Electric Soldier Porygon, not Polygon. That's the name of the episode. All right. See, I wouldn't know. I never saw it because it was banned. Yeah, but you played Pokemon games. Yeah, I couldn't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! When I seriously, when I did hear the word polygon for the first time, I did think, "Oh, like the Pokemon." And I was like, "That makes this that podcast makes is sense. over. This is, the, this is the last episode. I can't be in the same room as you right now." <laughs> I think this is the last episode of the year, anyway. Okay, was oh, that true? I think it might be.